Hey Waffle Gang, I do hope you're well. My name is Mark and today we're checking out some more relationship stories and if you do love a Reddit story, why not consider hitting that like, subscribe, maybe that notification bell too. Let's crack on with today's first story, which comes from Fit Interview 9591 and says, am I the asshole for canceling Thanksgiving dinner? I am 33 female. This year I have been sick on and off and I'm not in great shape for traveling. Nothing serious, I am just exhausted. And my husband and I decided not to spend Thanksgiving with our families this year. Also, his parents are on a cruise and mine are spending Thanksgiving with my brother and his wife at her parents' house. So everyone is happy and no one is being left alone for Thanksgiving. Since we had a group of friends in town that aren't traveling for Thanksgiving, we decided to hold a Thanksgiving dinner and invite a total of 10 friends over. I have everything prepared and actually ordered a Thanksgiving meal for 15 people. I like extra food so it really feels like Thanksgiving and then everyone can take some when they leave. We ordered because I feel physically too weak to pull off a Thanksgiving meal for this many people and my husband can't do it alone either. We were both looking so much forward to Thanksgiving dinner. One of my friends of five years has been going through a tough period recently and I wanted her to come, especially since it would be really weird that she is in town and is not invited. However, my friend, let's call her Tina, has been engaged to her fiance Max for over five years. Since before I met her, so me and my husband have always hung out with Tina and Max as a couple. This past year, Tina told me that she has a crush on Max's friend, Tom, whom we all know well but aren't friends with. I tried to support her and be a good friend, but since she was trying to tell me details about how she was flirting with Tom when he would go over and how they touched each other, etc., I told her that I wasn't comfortable to hear the details and that it wasn't fair that she would put me in this position since she wasn't breaking up with Max and I had to see him again, which made me feel like a liar even though I had done nothing wrong. She was upset at me but understood and apologized. With time, I perceived that things advanced between her and Tom while she's still being engaged to Max. When she would complain about her personal life was a mess, I tried many times to tell her that this is super wrong and she should come clean to Max either to try and work things out or break up. I think she understood that she didn't have my support in this, so she stopped talking about it altogether. We kept hanging out with her and Max, and I thought and hoped she solved things and cut it out with Tom. We invited Tina and Max for Thanksgiving, of course. Now, here is where the problem starts. This Friday evening, we're out with a group of friends, including Tina and Max, and I was surprised to see that they invited Tom too. Max said something about... Tom being closer to them and often going to their house. I didn't like hearing that, but none of my business. However, towards the end of the evening, our friends were talking about how they cannot wait for the Thanksgiving dinner. And Tina told Tom, you should come too. She invited him to my house, my party, knowing full well that I don't support whatever cheating fuckery she is doing with him. Tom said he would love to, and in that moment, I just couldn't speak. My husband said it was a great idea and that sealed the deal. Important piece of info. My husband knows nothing about what is going on with Tina and Tom because I wanted to respect their privacy and didn't want to tell her secrets to anyone, including my husband. After Friday night, I had been feeling sick to my stomach and so mad. So I decided to cancel the Thanksgiving party from being at our house and asked one of my friends if she could hold it instead if I sent all the food there. I purposely chose one friend that doesn't know Tom at all and wasn't with us on Friday evening. So, since he is not in the original text group where we sent the invitation, he is not invited. Tina was furious with me and sent a long message saying I had no right to do that just to uninvite Tom because I have no idea what has happened between them since I refuse to hear the details. The audacity and the disrespect. I'm thinking of cutting her out of my life but I first need to calm down and thought to ask everyone here if by any chance, I am the arsehole and overreacting. And we'll start in the comments with Sinner who says not the arsehole, cut her out of your life. It's bothering you to the point you cancelled Thanksgiving and posted on Reddit. You fundamentally disagree with what she is doing and you shouldn't compromise your values to keep a relationship with her while she cheats and eventually gets caught. OP replies saying thank you. I must say that she's been a good friend to me over the years, so it weighs on me to cut her off but she is being so toxic and unfair, it breaks my heart. Disastrous Oven says, Ooft, so you will not be attending the dinner at all. I would tell my husband since Tina invited Tom. He should know why you're upset and get his opinion. The issue is people love drama. 
I bet Tina is going to tell friends why you moved the party or her version at least. She is not your friend. Who invites their probable lover to another's home holiday dinner party? Not the asshole. It is messy. Loop in your husband. OP responds saying thank you for this. My husband is actually sad that we're going to miss Thanksgiving since it is the holiday he loves the most. And he told him that we should cancel and didn't tell a lie. But he presumed that it is because I don't feel well. So that is withholding the truth from him and you are right. I shouldn't keep her secrets or respect her privacy anymore since she can't even respect my wishes and invites people at my home. I must specify that she had been a good friend to me over the years. But this last year has been a complete shit show. For example, she hasn't once asked how I feel, knowing that I've been more sick than well. Also, she has been sulking about me not wanting to hear details about this thing. So toxic. I'm wondering, should we just go to the dinner? It would make my husband happy and no one would think it's weird. Because just the location of the party changed, but everyone is there. My only concern is that she might act up and give me anxiety, which I don't need right now. 8am says it is understandable that you feel upset and betrayed by Tina's actions, especially after expressing your discomfort with her situation. Opie says thanks. I am also worried I've overreacted because I've been quite sick for the entire year and my emotional state is not the best. But I did feel very betrayed by her for not checking on me first and doing it in front of everyone so I couldn't refuse. If I had done that to her, she'd have probably blurted out in front of everyone. No, because he is your lover. Shadow Bane replies that and says you're not the asshole for changing the Thanksgiving plans, though you will be if you keep aiding her cheating by not saying anything. If the roles were reversed, you would want to know, and despite the potential drama, you're currently contributing to the harm to Max by not wanting to hear it, or saying anything to someone you have a friendship with. Help him get out of a bad situation before it gets worse, as it's clearly doing. Opie says this makes me feel so guilty. I just don't know where to draw the boundary between being honest with my friend's fiance mingling in their life by giving unsolicited help. I do think about this all the time though. Shadowbane responds to that and says, which is fair. I've been there before, but after it blew up in my face and I lost a good friend, I've personally found that if someone does try to bring you in on something that you find absolutely wrong and it makes you sick, saying something and washing your hands of the awful person is typically the best course for your own health. I'm sure the stress of having to hold this secret you should have never known about is hurting you as well. Did it to add on. The bright side is, once you do that, cheaters won't tell you anything anymore because they know you won't keep it a secret, so two birds with one stone in my opinion. Hope you respond saying, lol, that is a very good point. Sorry you had to go through this too. It really sucks. We'll never understand why people cheat. It's not that hard to break up. The moment you see you start having feelings or even thinking about someone else, you do some deep soul searching to understand why. Tell your partner, clean breakup, and then explore things with the person you like. Of course, things might not go well and you'd be losing security for practically nothing. But that is the price you pay if you're not happy and want to explore things. People are so selfish and wanting to keep someone as a backup if their explorations don't go well. And a lot of people were just saying, you know, this person doesn't deserve any kind of privacy at all because they're potentially cheating on their partner, if not physically, certainly emotionally. And of course... The, the usual answer which comes from everyone in a story like this that you need to tell the person who's being cheated on about it and you know i certainly agree with that the, the person doesn't deserve to be treated that way but i can totally understand op why it'd be a concern how to tell the person what dramas are going to bring them to your door etc etc i totally get that op's the one that's going to have to live through this situation afterwards would you consider that person a friend? I think someone to put you in that position and, and lay all that at your feet, I, I wouldn't consider that person a friend. They they put you in a very, very shitty situation and a situation where they're trying to get you to hold their secrets and, and it's just bloody awful in my opinion. But OP does come in with an update and says, very shortly summarized, a friend of five years, Tina, told me about a year ago that she was flirting and holding hands underneath the dinner table, etc. with Tom, who is a friend of her fiance, Max. I expressed contempt and told her I do not need to know. We didn't speak about it again. I didn't tell my husband about this to protect Tina's privacy, but also because I was going through a lot health-wise and had other priorities. Fast forward, Tina proceeded to invite Tom, potential lover, to my Thanksgiving dinner without my consent in front of my husband, our friends, and Max, so I couldn't say no. I was mad and cancelled the dinner asking my friend who doesn't know Tom to host it, so he got automatically uninvited. 
This got Tina livid. She proceeded to practically bully me with texts over three days, telling me stuff ranging from, you're not a good friend because you don't want me to be happy. By happy, she means having both her fiance and her potential lover together in my house. Two, you are a professional failure because you didn't get that job you wanted. Two, I'm glad you got sick and fat so I don't have to hear anyone anymore talk about how good you look. Given all the drama, it didn't make sense to keep it a secret from my husband, so I told him. He decided that it is better that we tell Max, not only because he deserves to know, but also because we will cut her, or them if they stay together, out of our lives so he, Max, will have questions anyway. We decided to do it after Thanksgiving and we were trying to decide if to tell Tina beforehand so she could tell him first if she wanted to, or if to have them together and talk about it, the four of us. This was so Tina wouldn't feel it was backstabbing situation. Not that she deserves any grace at this point, but for basic human decency. We decided we would go to the Thanksgiving dinner and not provoke any drama so that the night wasn't ruined for the rest of our friends. There was no reason to believe that Tina would cause any scenes because she was chatting very normally on the group chat and even joking about something I said, even though separately she was sending me rageful messages. Ringe. However, this late afternoon, I learned that I created an additional group chat and told our friends that I'd been spreading the lies about her to them, and anything I had told them was a lie to make her look bad. I had not told them a word. My plan was to simply communicate to them that I had cut Tina out of my life after I did it, without providing any details other than saying that she tried to involve me in situations that made me uncomfortable. I also had planned to tell them that they didn't need to choose between me or her, and that we could still hang out and I wouldn't mind to skip the events where they wanted to invite Tina. Not optimal, but the best I could have done. In addition, she asked them to choose between her and Max and me and my husband because she couldn't stand to be in the same friend group as me anymore after I ruined her life. Needless to say, my friends were super confused. They reached out to me. Most of them have known me for over 20 years, so they know that I don't spread lies. I showed them all the messages and told them everything. A friend who is hosting tomorrow said that apparently Tina had asked if her and Max could bring a friend, most probably Tom. After an hour long conversation with my friends, we decided to tell Max collectively today and not have them join the dinner tomorrow, only Max if he wanted to. One of the friends called Max and told him we all needed to speak with him and to come alone. He showed up less than 20 minutes later, lives only 15 minutes away, with Tina. She was already in rage mode and started yelling at everyone. We managed to tell him through a lot of drama and denying. Turns out he had a hunch and didn't want to admit it to himself. Turns out also they are both pieces of shit because he was apparently in a serious relationship with Tina's friend before leaving her for Tina. We were all glad they are out of our lives. In a last low blow, Tina told me in front of everyone to take care of my marriage instead of her relationships because according to her, when she and Max lived with us for a few months, they had some financial issues. She had an affair with my husband. Of course, I don't believe it, but it left such a bitter taste. And someone did ask OP below. They said about, what did your husband say about his alleged affair with Tina? And OP said that he wanted to throw up and asked her to provide proof, any proof, which it doesn't sound like she did. And you know, the, obviously cutting this person out of your life is completely the right thing to do. She sounds unhinged. I saw what it always leaves me wondering what they were like in the past. I'd love some more background information on this person. OP said that they were a good friend prior. So this sudden switch and to, to be abusive and toxic towards the OP is madness. You know, I shouldn't be shocked by it. We've seen it time and time again about how people flip like that to defend themselves. I think it's just pretty sad. But now I'm going to turn this one to you guys. What do you guys make of this one? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And let's move on to another story. And our next story comes from the Am I the Arsehole subreddit. Doesn't have an update as yet from Gloomy Isopod 8132 and says, Am I the Arsehole for poisoning housemate who ate my food without my permission and ended up in the ER? I-19 male recently moved into a shared place and there is someone who keeps stealing my food. At first I thought it was just a mistake but even my leftovers were being eaten. It was very clear that the person was doing it on purpose. I spoke to my housemates about how I should prefer to be asked first but they were nonchalant about it and none of them admitted doing it. I haven't caught anyone in the act so I just tried to ignore it as it only happened every couple of days or so. 
A few days ago, I came home from work with a carton of eggs that I found while dumpster diving and some bread. I wanted to give the eggs the water test first before eating them just to make sure that they are safe to consume, but I was too tired and went to bed early without eating. The next day, I found out that one of my housemates got so sick he ended up having to go to the emergency room. My eggs were not in the fridge where I left them, but I saw the carton and shells in the trash and my bread was opened. I had a hunch that it was him because there was a possibility that the eggs had gone bad, but I was annoyed at the fact that he helped himself to my food without asking. When he came back, I asked him if he had eaten my eggs and bread, but he denied. I then said, okay, but I hope whoever ate them doesn't get sick as you did because I found the eggs in a dumpster. His face immediately dropped and he looked visibly uncomfortable. He got angry and went from saying that he may have consumed the food by mistake as he wasn't paying attention and doesn't exactly remember and accusing me of poisoning him. He said that it's a health hazard to bring such food in communal spaces without warning everyone first, as it's not uncommon for people in shared spaces to eat other people's food by mistake. He hasn't spoken to me since then and my housemates are siding with him and called me disgusting for doing that. A part of me feels like I wasn't doing wrong because they were my eggs that I was fully intending on eating. I didn't think that I had to warn people against eating food that didn't belong to them. But I also do feel bad and guilty that he got sick. So Reddit, please tell me if I was in the wrong. Edit, just to clarify, because I see comments that suggest I may have done it on purpose. I didn't. I've been dumpster diving for some of my food recently, so I was fully intending on eating it, just like I have been eating the food that I've been finding while dumpster diving. I tried to exercise caution and thankfully it hasn't made me sick yet, but he's not eating it. I was probably going to end up in the ER myself because I was obviously going to eat it. I didn't randomly do it just to try and bait and catch whoever has been eating my food. Food poisoning is not a joke. As I said, I just moved recently and I'm just trying to get on my feet. I also understand that although I make sure to wipe my food first, ultimately it is gross to put food that come from a dumpster in a communal fridge or pantry and will not continue to do so. I will just put it in my room from now on. And we'll start off with Dr. Agnes L who says, I lived in dorms for seven years with nine different people altogether. Nobody has ever eaten my food by mistake or on purpose, by the way, nor did I eat others. It's really not that hard to not eat what's not yours. Not the arsehole. Varga says, not the arsehole. If the housemates prefer a communal food sharing system, they had the opportunity to discuss this with you when you brought it up. They also could have asked you to label your food so they didn't accidentally mix things up but it sounds like they didn't take that opportunity either. This sounds like karma to me. Bieu says, nope, you did nothing wrong. Your forgetful roommate is a piece of work. Once or twice, I can see food going missing in a communal fridge, but chronically and with nobody fessing up is the work of a bullshit artist feeding you lies and hoping that you restock the fridge so his stomach can be full. Someone is lying to your face and eating your food. Who doesn't have the balls to admit their error and think you are dumb enough to believe their weak lame excuse? Full stop. Tell them you're insulted for this reason and your sick roommate got what's coming to him. He merely got to experience the occupational hazard of being a thief, not the arsehole. Adrenaline anxiety says not the arsehole. He stole your food that you didn't know was bad. You didn't do it deliberately. It was an accident caused by his own theft. It's also entirely possible that your eggs didn't give him food poisoning and something else did, given he seems to have issues with food. I don't understand why your housemates are on his side. It sounds to me like you're going to have to get a mini fridge in your room if you don't want people eating your food, which sucks. And then there was a lot of people talking about the dumps of diving in general and getting eggs and meat and food is just not safe. And some people saying it's not safe in general, etc, etc. But now I'm going to turn this one to you guys. What do you guys make of this one? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Now, just a huge thank you from the bottom of my heart for getting involved in today's stories, your love, your support, your time always means the absolute world to me. So thank you so, so much for being involved. Truly, it is absolutely incredible. You are amazing. And hopefully, I will see you in the next one. Take care and much love.